Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I am going to do a boyfriend video for Nino this time. I believe all the carrots out there in the world don't know what my favorites are, which is a China lion and Nino. So just letting you know, because I think my sister mentioned that once. She was like, you haven't told your people who your biases are. And I'm like, you are definitely right. I have not told them. So here it is. So we'll just jump right into his reading, which is right here. We're going to use three different decks, which is, you know, the same old right here with his general energy. Okay, so what type of boyfriend will Dino be? Oh, I was hoping an otter will come out, but it didn't. I'm so sad no other came out. <laughs> I even decided to use both, you know, the other animal cards to make sure that we will have like the higher the chances of an otter. Because as my younger sister mentioned, we have no dinosaur. <laughs> no dinos over here. I was gonna try to sing a, a dino, like a dinosaur song, but I don't think I know any. Anyway, so... What type of boyfriend will Dino be? It seems like he'll be a very playful individual, someone that would like to laugh a lot and enjoy life as we have the di <laughs> the dinosaur, the dolphin right here. It is a water element, meaning that he will be very emotional. He will be very heartful. I don't think that's a word I'm looking for necessarily, but I'm talking about the heart because with the water element, we're talking about emotions, creativity, and spirituality. So I... I have sensed this about Dino multiple times when I read about his romantic life. I do feel that Dino will guide himself to be with someone because he really, really feels strongly connected to them. I also feel that he will be the type of person that will be that will laugh a lot because all I can think of is Dino has a nice laugh and dolphins laugh a lot because they're very you know they like to play around and have fun and they're filled with joy, right? So that's kind of what I'm getting with this dolphin. Also, you can see that it is filled with white and a lot of colors, meaning that he will be pretty aligned and he will be pretty balanced with his emotions. He wouldn't be the type of boyfriend that will bring his burdens to his partner. He will try to bring a bunch of happiness and security and this light weight type of energy. He's not trying to bring the moon down, let's just put it that way. He tries to make things fun. And that's kind of like the main thing with the dolphin. He's trying to have fun, he's trying to be optimistic, he's trying to see the good in life, he's trying to, uh, you know, be the light of the party in that sense as well. And the other thing is, he might be the type of boyfriend that is very excited, very happy, and he finds it very important to be in groups. I'm saying that because... It made me think almost, you know how wolves have packs and they always travel together? That kind of idea. You know, he always wants to make sure that everyone he cares about is taken care of. That type of mentality. Also, I don't know. I think that's it with the dolphin. Let's go with the other ones. We have the peacock spirit, which I did think of this animal for some reason. I do have a stone called, uh, I think, that has, you know, the word peacock on it. So I thought, oh, maybe I should use it, but I didn't. <laughs> but the animal came anyway, and it says, let it shine. And right here, we can see the heart, and we can see all the green, which green is all about the heart chakra, and all of the blue will be the throat chakra, signifying that Dino will be someone that wants to communicate, but it may be a bit difficult for him to open up to his partner. I do have a feeling that he is someone that just like he is very lighthearted and wants to have fun he does want to have something very deep with his partner as he has the water element with the dolphin so the heart right here that is filled with light i do feel that in a sense dino has reached the point that he knows that he has to be careful who he gives that light to he wants to make sure that his partner also has fun and also is having like a you know it's healing and it's he just wants to make sure that his partner is okay. And I do feel that he's also aware that not everyone will appreciate and 
many people might even take for granted all of the good things that he has to offer. So with Let It Shine, I do feel that maybe Dino might be in a space right now where he doesn't feel comfortable showing that caring side of himself in as a romantic partner. I do feel that he may be waiting for that intuitive message, oh, the intuitive message of finding the right person. And when I mean the right person, I don't mean like, oh, the one he's going to stay with for the rest of his life. Not necessarily. In this case, I do feel that it's more like finding the person that he feels comfortable enough to even open up with. So I do feel that he might also be someone that will really like to show off his partner or he will like to keep his partner very close to his heart as a way of treasuring that person. The next card that we have is the, is the Skunk Spirit with Know Your Worth. I do feel that Dino may be struggling to shine brightly for people to see him, especially in his romantic endeavors. I do feel that he may have closed up a lot because some, someone could have taken him for granted or something, or something probably got in the way for him in such a way that now he doesn't feel comfortable showing all of this happy-go-lucky energy that he tends to have. He may be treasuring it a lot and holding back a lot as well to the point that maybe he hasn't found the right partner or oh the other thing that i got as well is that he could be someone that has reached a point where he is not playing around with you know he just doesn't want anyone as a partner he wants someone that will value him and take care of him and appreciate him so i do feel that with all of that it brings like this situation where he will not find a partner as easily as if he just took anyone I, I guess we could say that he has standards and they're not that easy to meet and because of that I do feel that this skunk I just got the imagery of you know when a skunk sprays it's it's not poison but it's stench <laughs> as a way to protect itself no one wants to come near it because you know it's stinky it hurts <laughs> so I do feel that with you know something like that could have happened that he valued himself and said I, I want someone that will actually love me for who I am and will not take me for granted and this, this and that. So he set out his conditions and because of that he may have reached a point where not a lot of people are coming through because he now has set the high standards and he has set boundaries that make it easier to keep out the people that are not good for him out of his life but at the same time harder because now um, he may feel like no one's attracted to him if that makes sense. So I do feel like right now he's in like that weird stage where he may feel a little bit discouraged but there's this side of him that is ready to go out to his partner. He just probably hasn't met that person that he can, you know, let loose and show this beautiful side of him, you know, the light that he has within him. Then we have the frog spirit with clear out the clutter. I do feel that, again, we have green and blue which is was the same colors that we got with the peacock spirit. So there's this sense of maybe Dino has to go through a, a place where he can... I'm thinking of the sea serpent from the wild unknown. In that one, it talks about water and how water is used as a method of healing yourself and a way of coming back home and nurturing yourself because water is technically feminine energy in the sense that it's very nurturing and soothing and gentle in that sense and then i was thinking how <laughs> i was thinking how with frogs there's this thing where um they're amphibians right so they start from a source of water and then they go out of it but i believe frogs do need to stay i guess hydrated or they have to moisturize their skin if you want to put it that way and because of that frogs tend to go back to water places or they stay very close to water places to make sure they can stay alive even though of course they can breathe air and stay out on land for a very long a very long time they tend to go back to the water to in a way you can say reunivate reunivate i think reunivate no something along those lines but what I'm trying to get at is that it feels like Dino may need to clear his energy and come back to his senses by going back to what he finds at, as home. But an emotional sense of peace, security, and home. So he may be the type of partner that will definitely be very appreciative of the individual that will love him for all of 
him i guess you could put it that way but also a partner that will bring him home and security because i'm thinking of the fourth a fourth house in cancer right so feeling at home feeling secure feeling protected and taken care of and nurtured in a very cancer type of way so someone that feels like home someone that feels uh, very nurturing and caring and all of that so i do feel that he will be the type of partner that will be very appreciative of someone like that but it also feels like he will be that way as well very caring and very protective and very light-hearted as well as uh you know his voice and his heart in i guess in a sense his laugh because of the dolphin will all be signs of healing to his partner as well so i do f i don't really know what form of nurturing dino will see as com comforting but I think this is more of an energy home space that he will want from a partner rather than words or actions or I guess gifts as love languages tend to be. It's more like just a home space. So a state of mind, an energy, something along those lines. The other cards that we have is the Eight of Swords reverse. So I do feel that, again, since we, talk we talked about boundaries, we talked about being... You know, understanding what he's looking for and setting standards and stuff for the type of partner he wants. With this Eight of Swords reverse, I'm getting that Dino is a type of partner that likes to see things very clearly. He may be very happy and very joyful and full of light and everything, but he's still very guarded as we saw with these two cards. Uh, and with the clear out the clutter, it really feels like there's something still holding him back. So this Eight of Swords doesn't necessarily feel as the thing holding him back and yes at the same time. So when we talk about the Eight of Swords, we're talking about someone that feels very confused and they're under the illusion that they can't do something. It's a mental blockage as we have Swords and Swords talks about our intellect, our mind, our thoughts, our ideas, and our communication. So I feel Dino may struggle a little bit with communicating, but the way that he struggles with his communication is about opening up his heart. And that's kind of it. He doesn't necessarily struggle with what he wants and what he doesn't want. He says it very clearly. Um, if there's something that bothers him, he'll say it upright. And I feel that's where this Eight of Swords is leading to as well. That he wants a partner and he will be the type of partner that will say things very, you know, direct, straightforward, and to the point. Dino is not necessarily playing around in relationships. So even though he's very playful, this is a childlike type of energy not immature and childish if you want to put it that way so it's someone that wants to have fun but it doesn't necessarily mean that he's immature it just means that you know with this eight of swords reverse i do feel this shows an energy of someone that knows how to communicate and wants things to be very clear no confusion no drama no illusions and that's what this eight of swords reverse talks about in the sense of his and of his reading though the other card that we have is the Six of Pentacles. He is going to be a very giving partner. So we have a lot of water. So he is filled with emotions and he's very aware of them, but he's just not willing to open up so easily about it. So he wants a partner that will um, be an equal give and take. He wants definitely an equal as a partner. But the Six of Pentacles, this card is supposed to symbolize good fortune coming out of nowhere, or it talks about someone that is has... A healthy relationship with money because they're able to give it away because they know that it will come back to them in any in other shapes ways or form this is talking about someone that is giving and someone that is receiving so i do feel that dino is very good at receiving and he's also very good at giving in return um he wants an equal partner so he doesn't want as i mentioned no one to just take care of him he doesn't want someone that he has to take care of it just comes intuitively right when you care about someone, you'll do it regardless, but you don't have to do it because that person can stand on their own. And he wants someone that is complete in that sense. And he wants to give a lot of gifts to his partner and a lot of, uh, you know, equal time and quality, everything. So again, I did mention that Dino doesn't have like a, a specific love language um, thing. So I do feel that this is like, a uh, balance of all of them right being able to give thoughtful gifts being able to give good service being able to uh speak verbally about you know your partner and stuff like that so all i'm saying is that he seems to be very balanced about that and he wants someone like that as well so he definitely wants 
to have someone that has the same things that he has to offer. I don't think uh, Dino is necessarily looking for someone that will, well, yeah, compliment him, but still equals, you know what I mean? He's not looking for someone that he wants to take care of because they can't do it themselves, right? He wants someone that can take care of themselves and you have two individuals coming together, right? No, no halves, just whole people. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. And the last card that we have is the Five of Swords Reverse. So the Five of Swords talks about winning the battle but not the war. So there's this sense of like, you may have come victorious now, but keep in mind that there's more, like a warning of like, there is more to come, right? And the, imagery he, the imagery here doesn't really show it, but in the original one, it kind of shows a guy that has won, and then there's two guys in the background kind of like walking away sad and there's always that sense of like, you know, but beware, those two people can always come back, right? That's usually how the imagery of the Five of Swords looks in the traditional tarot deck. But in this one, it kind of just shows someone that is victorious, I guess. You do have the two people in the background kind of like giving their back to us as they are kind of, they have, those are the ones that have lost. But in, in this case, since it's reversed, I do feel that with Dino, he wants a partner that he can see from the very beginning that they're worth the sh struggle or that they're worth, I don't, I don't know how to put it. But what I'm trying to say is that Dino wants a partner that he, he doesn't want to fling, let's put it that way. He wants a long lasting relationship and he wants to make sure that he finds someone that he that can offer that to him. Because I do feel Dino is a type of person that w doesn't give his heart away easily but he's also not playing around with other people to satisfy um, maybe his loneliness or something, right? He is okay being on his own and working on himself if that's what he can do at the moment. I don't think he's a type of individual that will be playing around and messing around with other people and having just random relationships that he has he sees no depth or future with. That's kind of what I'm getting with this Five of Swords reverse. He's not looking for a momentarily victory. He wants a long lasting. So he doesn't want to win a battle. He wants to win the war. And in this case, war being a relationship that he can have for the long run. So I do feel that Dino isn't the type of boyfriend that is very serious. And is going to be someone that he may struggle to open up his heart and communicate that. I do feel that maybe he's not ready for that at the moment that I'm bringing his energy, but he seems to be someone that values a lot communication. He values a lot his heart. And because of that, it's going to be very important to who he gives that to. And he has a dolphin. So that kind of shows that he is very joyful, very happy, and he wants that for his partner as well. So with all of that, I guess you can say that he's a type of boyfriend that wishes for the best to his partner. And he is asking just for the same treatment in return he wants a partner that will love him respect him and be unequal to him so i do feel in a way dino wants someone he can definitely um someone he respects and in a way admires just as much as he may want to be admired and loved and respected again equals equals not the same as he doesn't want a partner that's similar to him and oh that's why we're together because we're very alike he wants a partner that is and equal to him and they can both balance each other out so and again in that way they could complement each other if it comes down to it but it's just all about having a very balanced relationship of two individuals that want to be together and all of that so with all of that said i will leave that there thank you to everyone for watching this video give a lot of love and support to our lovely dino or you know i guess the comeback i guess promotions are over but you can still listen to the song with the songs are good. One of the songs that I actually had stuck in my head before recording Dino's video was To You. I don't really remember what he sings in his part, but that could be important. I don't know. But yeah, I will just leave that there. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it or find this fun, informative, or whatever. So, love and healing from my part to you and see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.